Welcome back guys. I have another grocery haul for you guys today with a full week meal plan and this week we are officially in fall because tomorrow is October 1st. I'm so excited um, but I am fully using my crock pot. Um, I think I have four crock pot meals for you guys so keep an eye out. Um, there will be a upcoming video probably early next week with four to possibly five simple easy dump and go crock pot meals that are perfect for weeknight meals so let me show you my meal plan so first and foremost i got this beautiful weekly meal plan um, planner from target it is by hearth and hand and there's a ton of pages but the coolest part about it is the shopping list is perforated so it rips off. Like how cool is that? So much better than my last one where I scribbled down a ridiculous uh, list in the car. If you guys watch that, you know what I'm talking about. But this is what I have planned for this week. So for tonight, we have leftover chili from last week and this is a keto friendly chili. Um, I will link that recipe up above. It is super delicious. And my kiddos are gonna have soup and grilled cheese um, we have soccer tonight, so busy night, and then tomorrow we also have soccer. So tomorrow, I'm doing one of our favorite weekly meals. This is a crock pot barbecue bacon cheesy chicken. Um, the chicken um, and the carrots are can be totally keto friendly, so if you're looking for that or low carb or whatnot. And we are going to add in rice pilaf because I have some from Saturday that I made. I have enough for a whole nother meal. Um, Wednesday, we're doing crock pot taco pie. This is super delicious. Um, I will be including this in the dump and go um, crock pot video coming up, so stay tuned for that. I'm doing the tried and true crock pot Mississippi pot roast. Um, this is so good with mashed potatoes and salad. Friday, guys, Friday's huge for us. Um, it is our 12 year anniversary. And I'm a little bit embarrassed to say this, but this will be the first night that um, we are away from Chase. So I've stepped out to go like grocery shopping once or twice, um, and my husband has watched him, but we have not been kidless since, if you want to count it, since we were in the hospital and I was having Chase. So um, our family has, I guess, just been busy or whatnot, but I finally convinced somebody to watch my kids so that we could go out to dinner on Friday. So we're pretty excited about that. I'm making a crock pot tortellini um, dinner recipe for the kids. It's super easy. You throw it in the crock pot. Um, this is one of our go-tos. And Saturday we're doing burgers and hot dogs with salad. And Sunday... I'm doing a crock pot breakfast bake for dinner, but this could be for breakfast, brunch, dinner, whatever you choose. So it is eggs, frozen potatoes. I'm gonna put green pepper in it because um, we really like green peppers. Um, shredded cheese, and I think I'm gonna find like some sausage or something to throw in there for some protein. And then I just need um, paper plates and laundry soap. I kind of separated my grocery list by like areas of the store. So, I don't know, I think this is awesome. I'm loving this. So, um, Chase is sleeping, I'm gonna go grab him. We're gonna head to the grocery store and then when we come back, I will show you all the groceries I got. All right, we made it back from the grocery store. It is absolutely gorgeous outside today. It's like cloudy, like the perfect fall day. If you haven't caught on, I love fall. So let me show you the groceries. So here are the groceries from today. And my budget was, um, I wanted to keep it under 100. And I did that, just barely, 98.96. So let me show you what we got. Over here, I got some brown and serve um, cooked sausage links. This is for one of the crock pot meals, so you can just throw them in. There's no pre-cooking. Uh, pot roast. There was a manager's special on ground beef, so this is almost four pounds, so I'll probably freeze about half of this. 
I needed a half gallon of 2% milk for the kids. Um, some biscuits. This goes with one of the recipes. A bag of russet potatoes. This is another item I got for a crock pot meal. I wanted to make these meals as dump and go as possible so that you can spend about on average 10 minutes and then your dinner is ready and cooking all day long. So this is fully cooked bacon. I got two pounds of uncooked bacon, an 18 pack of eggs, two bags of frozen cheese tortellini, two bags of, they call it the fancy blend, it's um, mozzarella and mild cheddar. So I got two of those. Some flour tortillas, we were out and we like to keep these on hand in the fridge. Some green grapes. And my grocery store had a lot of really interesting apples. I know it's fall and it's that time of year. These I believe were called ginger golds, but they're really pale green and they look really good. So I figured we'll try those. I got two avocados, some baby carrots, some tater tots, um, I got two packs of the Thomas's English Muffins. These were buy one, get one free. So I'll throw one of those in the freezer. And my kids have been requesting shaped um, mac and cheese. If you guys have been following me um, for a while, you know that we usually make mac and cheese kind of from scratch. Um, I have the powder that I bought online, so we make it with whatever kind of pasta we want. But they requested these, so I got some animal shapes, some shells, and some spirals and I got five of them I got some grape tomatoes I got two bananas these are for chase some of our favorite Italian dressing this is the Olive Garden brand this is Brayden's absolute favorite I got some mini um, kosher dill pickles a can of tomato paste a jar of tomato basil sauce and then I needed three packets which look at this one chase was chewing on it um yeah so i got some au jus gravy some ranch dip and some taco seasoning mix and then the last two things i got are some napkins and some paper plates i also picked up a rabid baby oh my goodness so hopefully you guys um weren't too distracted in that grocery haul today was a challenge huh bud um but if you like this type of video, make sure you guys give us a thumbs up and look out for that upcoming video. I have a bunch of easy, simple crock pot dump and go recipes coming out probably early next week. So if you're not already, make sure you are subscribed and we will see you in the next one. You're crazy.